If you're watching this episode right now, that means you've watched the other ones. Right? So like, comment, subscribe. So let's get into it. Hey guys, happy Monday, and we're gonna do a new thing here called character development. We'll call it the we're gonna call this thing a the character the best character in the movies. Right now, that's the short thing right now, but we're basically gonna be taking just the reason why we're changing it on Mondays a little bit more is because comic movie equation has to do with certain movies, and there's certain movies right now that I am running out of, to be honest. Uh, yes, I have not done a lot of Marvel ones because there's a lot of Marvel ones. I have not done Black Panther yet, not Doctor Strange yet, still haven't read those comics yet to figure out what they are basically based off of. So, I'm going to be doing a little one. Thanks, Ryan, for uh, suggesting this. We're going to be basically doing a uh, thing where I am going to be basically taking, telling you guys, since there are so many movies, what, which movie or which character, which actor really betrayed the actual you know, superhero to the T, like, to, perf to perfection. And the first one I'm going to do, and I'm going to knock it out of the park right now, is Superman. Superman has had uh, has had many iterations over the years. Um, we've had Christopher Reeves, we've had, you know, we've had the Superboy series, we've had George Reeves, we've had, you know, uh, Henry Cavill, we've had Tom Welling, we've had, uh, um, the new guy from Supergirl, can't remember his name right now, it's skipping my mind, but, um, and we've had, you know, we've had Brandon Roth actually played a uh, Superman. We've also had, you know, the animated Supermans that have been awesome, but I'm going to be talking about the non-animated stuff, so we're going to throw that out to things and just go more of the realistic ones. And to be honest, it's really kind of almost a tie between, I personally think, Henry Cavill and Tom Welling. Now, if we're gonna go off just like TV series, Tom Welling. Tom Welling, has, if you guys don't realize, he did Smallville. Smallville is a series where it's basically, it's, and it lasted 10 seasons. You guys are realize, it lasted 10 seasons. It's phenomenal, I own all 10, it's great. And it, what it is, is, is it starts off with Clark Kent in high school developing his powers, uh, finding out, you know, he knew he had super strength, he knew he had a little bit of super speed, but then he, you find out he, he develops more powers on uh, more of his, you know, his uh, what's it called? Um, his heat vision. His is, and it's all through his high school years, going to his college years, going to finally his years of being in Metropolis, where he becomes that reporter. And it's a really cool concept because I never thought I'd like it until I started catching episodes and realized they were saying Clark, and I was like, wow, this is actually a pretty good series. The guy portrays him very well. Clark Kent is 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 very trying to be sheltered, trying to, to not sheltered, but trying to not show the whole world his side. And he does a really good job doing that. And I honestly think it's the best TV iteration that we will ever see. I mean, again, if you guys want to watch it, it's on Hulu. Uh, I definitely highly would recommend watching all 10 seasons. Not one season that has been bad. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it also has the best Lex Luthor in there too, Matthew Rosebaum. He is the phenomenal Lex Luthor guy. That's the, if, if, if when we get into that, I will go more into why I think he's the best Lex Luthor ever. Like he is the best Lex Luthor. Like if they get a Lex Luthor, they need to hire him. But anyway, let's. So, how much of do I think he betrays the, the Superman character? Ten out of ten. But. You gotta realize the whole time in Smallville, he never calls himself Superman. They call himself the Red Blue Blur. It's not till the final episode he finally puts on the cape, and it's it's awesome. I mean, I honestly think it's the greatest TV iteration we're gonna ever ever see of a Superman character. Now, movie-wise, I said Henry Cavill. It's a tie between Christopher Reeve and Can Can Re Henry Cavill. I think both of them deserve a talk. Christopher Reeves was the first, it was the first kind of Superman movie that came out, and I mean, it was perfect. It was perfect to the T. Um, you know, that the cluttery, you know, guy that drops stuff, Clark Kent, to the whole, you know, Superman who's being, you know, Superman. So, but Henry Cavill has been my favorite, mainly because of his work ethic. He was one of those guys that didn't take steroids to get buffed. He did it naturally because he didn't want to taint the Superman name. That's what makes me his favorite. And it's more realistic. 
that's what I liked about Zack Snyder's Man of Steel. Is Man of Steel is more of a realistic time choice. If Superman came into the real world nowadays, would we welcome him? No, we wouldn't. Come on, you guys gotta really think about this. If Superman came down from his, we found out he was an alien, would we accept him in society? No, we wouldn't. So what do you want to do? You don't want to show your powers. You don't want to do this. You want to blend in. And that's what I really liked about the Man of Steel, and that's what I liked about Henry Cavill, is he did portray Superman in that certain way, but he started growing into the Superman that we love and adored. I personally love that, and I think that Henry Cavill deserves that type of chance. Um, rumors going around that he's not going to be coming back. I hope those are false. I've, you know, we haven't heard a statement from WB, but who knows, guys? I really hope he stays. Well, that's it for this Monday video. I hope you enjoyed this Monday video. A little bit of change up. There will be more comic book equations, but let me know in the comments below if you like what you're seeing right now. And give me a suggestion of what you want to hear next. What do you want to hear next for your next video? Um, you know, think about this really hard. Um, and uh, yeah, guys, have a good Monday and peace out.